it's Brian here from Lazy's Coral House. Hope everybody's been having a wonderful summer. We sure have here been working on a lot of projects. We've been doing some expansion, adding tanks, replacing tanks, um, doing a little bit of beautification. So it's been a pretty busy summer. But uh, I thought I would just share a few things that we're doing here and give you guys an update on when we're going to get open again here. So um, one of the main projects that we wanted to do was to replace the sump that was here. It was having some issues, um, and uh, so we had a new one built. And when we pulled it out, we know that we had to change the plumbing around and thought, well, while we're doing that, we might as well add some drywall, make it a little bit nicer because we spent a lot of time back here. So this wall right here is the separation between uh, where we keep all of our equipment and where the raceways are. So we have, everybody knows we have, you know, three raceways, they're eight foot long. Where we keep all of our corals, they're all connected to one system by way of uh, a common sump. So this wall right here is where we mount all the equipment, have all the plumbing run into the sump. And um, we've got this replacement sump. And I'm at the, I'm probably about three quarters of the way done. We're at the phase now where we're doing plumbing. So I've got the plumbing there and some plumbing parts here over the next uh, week. Plan to get this all plumbed back in and all running together. And then I know that I'll probably have a week of just getting all the dosers online, all the Apex equipment and monitoring and all that good stuff installed. And um, then probably a couple of weeks later, We'll have the website updated and be open so i would expect somewhere around halloween early november that will open back up uh, one of the other projects that we did was we wanted to add additional space to the farm and have a dedicated uh, tank just for sps so we built this one here this one is seven foot by three foot and um, it mainly holds uh, sps colonies right now you can see a few there all the uh all the colonies that we frag from and you know, some of these are mini colonies that we sell as well uh, a few salties in there because you know, as we're doing this project we got to take available all the space that we have because we have to take different tags offline um i'll kind of show you come around here so here's a tank that's offline right now getting ready to get plumbed in it just has some fish in it it's about halfway full and um we had to put a new overflow in it. So we do these one at a time, and as we do, we gotta uh, make use of the room in the other tanks. Then uh, then we'll get this one plumbed in. You see, I got the overflow ready to go there, and then this third one. So right now, these tanks are all just running on their own independent system. There's just a heater in there, live rock, and um, uh, this one here has a skimmer as well. So they've been like this for probably, oh, about a month now. But uh, we're getting close to getting it all tied back together, which will be nice because it's certainly is a chore having to manage each individual system, doing testing and, and everything like that. So looking forward to getting everything back together and automated. Just wanted to share kind of uh, uh, what we've been working on and how close we are to getting back open again. I think uh, probably finish this up in a couple of weeks and I need a couple of weeks to get the website updated and we'll be back open. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do some additional videos to show progress as we go here. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just post them in the comments and I can certainly um, address those in the next video. Thanks.